going to see once uh, you take the wraps off of this. What are your top priorities? Well, what, what I've consistently said, first and foremost, Mark, will be K-12. through At the end of the day, with my budget, if they say this guy was the education governor of Virginia, I'm happy. Uh, you know, you, we've seen since 2008 about 5,000 positions cut from our K-12. through At the same time, enrollment's been up. You know, English second language students has gone up dramatically, and we've made our tests harder. But at the same time, Mark, we've cut about 5,000 positions. Now, the answer is not just throwing money back, strategically investing. We ought to be looking at teacher pay raises. We ought to be looking at how our SOLs are delivered. I still say they're way too long. Mm -hmm. Third graders should not be taking, you know, six-hour reading tests. So I think what you'll see in this budget is a very focused, when we come out with it, and listen, our education system, like all the 50 states, it was built during the industrial age. If you want to go back and look at how our education system was put together, that does not meet the needs of today's 21st century economy. And I think you'll see with the investments that we're going to make, we really are going to shake up how you deliver education in the Commonwealth of Virginia to make sure, you know, we want our you know students not only to get the best education, but we want them to be learning skill sets that will be useful to them when they finally get out of higher education. So you'll see K-12, obviously higher ed. In addition, you're going to see uh, veterans and then third, you know, continued investment in economic development. Good news on sequestration, but Mark, we're going to be right back in this position in two years. Got a couple more questions okay. on the budget and education for you after traffic and weather. Great.